aches every fetter.
praise God this morning. Mighty God, most righteous and eternal God, my everlasting Father. O oh God, my Prince of Peace, the King of King. Mighty God, the one who kept the night watch. O oh mighty God, you have laid out the foundation of the earth. O oh God Almighty, this morning, O oh God, if it had not been for you, God, on our side, where would we be this morning? Mighty God, you allow us, O oh God, by journey mercies, O oh God, to enter, O oh God, to your gates and into your courts of thanksgiving. Mighty God, this morning, we are, O oh God, into your sanctuary. O oh God, it's not the good work that we have done, but O oh God, because of your grace and because of your mercy, everlasting Father, we welcome you, O oh God, Holy Spirit, in our presence at this time. Mighty God, to lead and to direct us. Oh God, we come with great expectation, oh God, to get a word from you, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus, this morning. Oh God, almighty Jesus, oh God, because you rescued the perishing and you cares for the dying. Mighty God, you know our uprising and our down setting. Mighty God, you know each and every one of us here this morning. You know, God, our weakness and you know our care. Mighty God, you know everything about us this morning. There's no secret that you don't know, God. For what you have done for others, you can do it for us this morning. Mighty God and mighty Jesus, we ask you, everlasting Father, oh God, this morning, oh God, oh dearest Lord Jesus, as the word go forth, mighty God, we pray, God and mighty Jesus, that you will tap in, oh God almighty, in our worship, so that our worship, God, God Almighty will be for real. Mighty God Almighty, rise up, up, oh God, out of our sleep and out of our slumber. Let we understand, God Almighty, when we come into your presence, oh God Almighty, what we are here for. Mighty God, we ask that you will touch our here this morning. Oh God Almighty Jesus, that we'll not be only a doer, but oh God, also God, a hearer, but also a doer. Touch our eyes, God Almighty, this morning, that oh God, we can see things that we have never seen before. Mighty God, touch our nostril this morning. Oh, everlasting Father, that oh God, we can spell the fresh anointing passing this way. Mighty God, because you encamp it around us this morning. Mighty God, touch our lips this morning. Oh God, that we can always have a praise God and a prayer. Mighty God, when our tongue lifted up, God, our speech will be of grace season with your words. Mighty God, this morning, we command you, God, God Almighty this morning, oh God Almighty Jesus to touch us this morning from the crown of our head unto the sole of our feet. Somebody God Almighty need a fresh touch, saturate us this morning, oh mighty God help us to gird up our lines about with the words of truth, mighty God help us to put on the breastplate of righteousness, mighty God tread our feet with the preparation of the gospel, mighty God this morning, Lord God we ask that you will strengthen us this morning. Oh God, because you're our strength like no other. Lord God, when we get weary, strengthen us God Almighty, so that we can go forward still, which is your will. Though the billows dash and spray, but with a conquering tread, mighty God, help us to push ahead and to roll our seas away. Mighty God, help us not to get comfort in these modern times, but help us, God, to look up, oh God, knowing that our redemption draw it nigh. Mighty God, we call upon you this morning because you are our intercessor. Mighty God, we ask that you will intercede for us. Petition the high court for us this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus, this morning. We look to you, God Almighty, for a fresh touch. We look to you for a movement. We look to you this morning, oh God, as we call upon you. Oh God Almighty, at this time to lead and to direct us. Open up our dark understanding even when we read your words. God Almighty, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon us this morning. Consecrate us to the service. Lord God, as we ask these mercies, in no other name, but in that precious name. Mighty God, can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Praise God this morning. Praise God this morning. We'll read from Psalms, in the book of Psalms, praise God, Psalms 8. Oh, mighty God. 
and we'll read together. It has nine verses, and we'll read together. Praise God. Psalms 8. When you get there, say amen. Praise God. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the path of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. This is the word of God, and we honor it by saying, thanks be to God. And now turn over. Praise God. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? worship us this morning. He 
moment to reflect. I want you to reflect on where you are coming from. And where you could have been. I want you to reflect on how many times the Lord has kept you so you wouldn't let go. I want you to reflect on how much God snatched you at the moment before you fell into that pit that the enemy would have laid for you. I want you to reflect on how God has brought you through. All right. He never, never left me all alone. He gave me peace and joy I never know. He held me in the cradle of his arms when he knew I'd be battered and woe.
I want you to clear yourself today because we're worshiping God this morning. I want you to put aside anything. Anything that's blocking your worship. We put all principalities and power now under the name of Jesus. Praise team, just give me one song. Praise team, just give me one song. Just give me one song, praise team. You are Alpha and this morning. John 15. And I'm going to read from verse 1 to 17. Hallelujah. Stand everywhere. I am the true vine and my father is a husband man. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cut forth as a branch, and is withered. 
And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Here is, herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends. Ye, if ye do whatsoever I command you, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I've called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it. These things I command you, that ye love one another. You may be seated in Jesus' name. I just read from the King James Version of the Bible. And... Uh, I want to greet the Holy Spirit of God, who's the head of my life. I greet my bishop and pastor. Praise God, Bishop Montague. I greet his wife and assistant pastor, Reverend Joan Montague. I greet the elders who are here with us this morning, Elder Henry and Elder Gilbert. Praise God, I greet the ministers. Praise God, Evangelist McFarlane. Praise God, missionaries. Praise God, saints of God. Praise team, ushers, musicians. Praise God, other ministers. In your respectful places, I greet you well and I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. This scripture came to me, but um, from November, I'm going to share with you. There's this two words coming to me from November. I've still not gotten the full revelation, but I think it is actually coming too. Because most times, sometimes when you get words, you have to pray on it and the Lord lead you as the... Praise God as he chooses. The two words that I got was assembly line. And for many persons who don't know what an assembly line is. An assembly line is when you do manufacturing. And you produce goods. And when you do it on an industrial basis. Then in order to satisfy the demand of your customers you can't make things one by one you have to have some form of assembly line and we call it a production run or the production line and with the assembly line you find out that as you produce the goods they are packaged and in order to package it properly it will come down a line the assembly line will run but there's something unique about the assembly line. And that is if the product has some defect, you pick it out. There are two things you can do with that product. You can discard it, or you can put it back in line, fix it together that it satisfies your product standard. Iloba Sanda. And I was saying to the Lord, why am I getting these two words? And I don't study manufacturing and I don't study logistics. I don't study nothing near production, but assembly line. And it puts me back into us as a people. We are in an assembly line. Hey. And at some point in time, we are going to have to 
to meet the demand of the people. But praise God because we are people. We cannot be used the same way as we use the material products. Because as a people, we are actually made by God. And as much as all we are in the assembly line, God is not going to reject us. I don't know about you, but I had many defects. And I still have some defects, Sister Ellis. But I'm so glad that over and over, he molds me and makes me. Into his likeness, he fashioned the clay. Praise God, putting me on a vessel of honor. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad that I'm not like the regular material product. I am carefully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Therefore, man cannot throw me out of the assembly line. Only if God wants to do it. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I've gotten it from November assembly line. We have to manage it as a people. And the scripture from St. John remind us that the Lord did not call us as a servant. Because the servant don't know what the master does. But he calls us friends. Amen, somebody. It's a new year. It's a new year, minister. And we are in an assembly line. But I'm so happy that Christ is the true vine. I'm so happy that he is a true vine. assembly line of man. Missionary Richards, I am glad I'm not in the assembly line of man. I'm talking to people this morning. Because any day, part of my foot gone, part of my hand gone, my ears cut off, Jesus have mercy. Talk to me no man. I don't know why the Lord has talked to me this morning. Anytime any something go wrong, they will throw me up and say, I'm not fit for you up this again. Huh? They'll condemn us and there will be no point in restoration, but I'm in the assembly line of God this morning. Hallelujah! We are coming from a mighty long way. And I can tell you, I have many defects. Some fix, some still in the process of fixing. But I'm in the assembly line of God's ear. Me are walking. I'm walking with him. I'm walking with him. Narrow is the way. Hallelujah that lead it. Praise God to life eternal. And I'm walking in a straight and narrow way, Minister Gordon. I'm in the assembly line of man. So when you see me walking, yes, me might lose some weight. Me tell me last week. Hallelujah, me, me now lose weight. Me in the assembly line. Sometimes you're going to find that the head gets sick sometimes. But I'm still in the assembly My head gets sick sometimes, be true. Praise God, but I'm still in the assembly line of, man, of God. He's not going to throw me out. 
and I want you to think on this today. And why the crime rate is so high is coming right back to the Bible. People don't understand it. And what is happening with crime? And it's something that we have to be concerned about. Mother Johnson was saying it this morning in the week when, while we were coming down. You know why? Because we don't, as a people, learn to reason and forgive anymore. So as soon as you mash my corn or my toad, those who have corn, come here foot and my foot. As soon as you mash me too, Minister Gordon Law Officer, then kill you. Sometimes you don't even know the circumstances behind why they had to step on the toe. It's possible that you were in a crowd and you just got pushed. And unfortunately, you step on your toe just by accident. But you don't think that you need to forgive or move your The first thing is to kill you. But we are in the church of God. And as much as somebody step on my toe, Minister Gordon, you are my friend. That's where we are right now. You are my friend. And if you are prepared to see the makeup, we have to learn to how we assemble. We have to learn how to assemble the good. Praise God, because I want you to make it in. So I have to fix some things for a while. I have to fix it. We have to do it because we are called to do it. Praise God. And the restorer of soul is somebody who is wise. I'm not going to throw at anybody because I don't want the Lord to look at me one of these days and say, depart from me. I know you not. And once it's in the power of your hands to do so, you must do it. That's what we are called here to do. Minister God, you come and lead the testimony for me in Jesus' name. To be free from sin and of Christ within, to be made us joint tears with Jesus, my Lord. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. Oh, what a wonderful thing, a very wonderful thing, to be free from sin and a price within, to be made a joy there with Jesus. about Jesus he is all right he is all right all right all right what do you think about Jesus he is all right what do you think about Jesus he is all right what do 
Praise the Lord. Let me greet the Spirit of God this morning. We greet Bishop and his, and his wife, Reverend Joan Montague, Elder Gilbert, Elder Henry, ministers, saints in Christ, visiting friends, little children. Greetings this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm glad to be in church today. Amen. Praise the Lord. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Why? Because in his presence, there is fullness of joy. Amen. And at his right hand, there are pledges forevermore. It doesn't matter how you are bounced and bruised and battered on the outside. But when you come in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and there is a refreshing spirit to refresh us. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, somebody. Come on, praise the Lord if he has been good. As a matter of fact, if you are in the production line, give God a praise. If you are in the production line, give God a praise. Turn to the person next to you and say, I, I am in the production line. Praise the Lord, I am in the production line. And I am glad that God is the selector. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because sometimes I used to work at the factory in Yellow. And sometimes what they reject as third quality. Amen. The QC come back down the line and pick it out and say this is first quality. Amen. So sometimes even when you are rejected, God will come back. And do the selection process. And I'm glad I'm in the production line. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Last year it was a. Last year it was a rough time for me. A very rough time. I wasn't in church so often. But I try my best to stay in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I was not in the building. I do the online services, but I, was, I try my best to stay in the presence of the Lord. Stay on my knees in prayer. Stay in his word. I try my best.